It's now time for our fish and hunt shop top three on three plays of the week last week. Had a lot of big plays on defense. Now this week we got some offensive plays and I mean who wouldn't want to see great offense? Mm -hmm. Number three. For our number three play of the week, it's this connection between Ethan Silverstone and Tyler Lawson. These two have some great chemistry. Silverstone able to place the ball between three Braves defenders for Lawson to get his hands on the ball and for him to sprint into the end zone. Moe's get the bragging rights in Delta County. Congrats to Ethan and Tyler. You get our number three play of the week. Number two. Coming in at number two, it's Chad Pullman of Westwood. Pullman not letting the rain affect how he's running the ball. He's breaking through some tackles, able to stop on a dime, and he'll send the launch defender flying. Let's take one more look as he hits the brakes, cuts it back to the middle of the field, and he's going to go 56 yards for the touchdown. That was just nasty. Congrats, Chad. You get our number two play of the week. Number one. And our number one play of the week is courtesy of Robert Apple of Marquette. Menominee going for it on fourth down. Bad decision. The Maroon's going to fumble. And Apple is there. Instead of falling on the ball like you'll see a lot of players do, he decides he's going to make a play. He sees the opportunity for the scoop, and he's off to the races. All the way back the other way for the touchdown. Marquette, they come back from 21 down. It's top Menominee by seven. Congrats, Robert. You get our number one play of the week.